Busted. A fugitive took Tucson police on a wild foot chase through rush hour traffic, and now he's resting up behind bars. Craig Smith joins us live at the Pima County Jail with more. Guy, it's not as if Benjamin Pinedo hasn't been here before. He has a long string of arrests, most of them for car theft, and he spent more than five years in Arizona State Prison. Now, he was free on parole, but he appears to have jumped parole, so police went looking for him. This training video would make you think a taser will drop anyone. Police know they helped, but a taser did not stop this man. Police were looking for Benjamin Pinedo on a fugitive warrant. It was morning rush hour when they spotted a car with him on I-10 near the Kino exit, and they stopped it. That's when things got wild. Police say the man got aggressive, so aggressive they hit him with a taser. He still took off running. Even though police had hit the man several times with a taser, he still had the strength and the energy to lead them on a foot chase from way over there at I-10 all the way across this vacant lot and across four lanes worth of Ajo in busy morning traffic. The chase ended when police caught Pinedo at Ajo and Bernard. Sergeant Chris Whitmer knows how tough it can be when a desperate man pours on the speed to outrun a determined but loaded down cop. It's very awkward. It's a lot of weight. Uh, you wear boots. You're, in, you're in really in no, in no dress at all to run. But, but after time, you get used to it. You need everything that you have. And while someone like Pinedo is being part fugitive, part track star, the police on his tail have to watch him, watch for traffic, and keep in touch with other police so they can help intercept the runner. Now, if Pinedo had just hung on and lived up to his parole, he would be off parole in a few months. He was due to be off parole in the spring, but now he's looking at a list of fresh charges, including aggravated assault on police officers and some drug charges based on what they found in the car. A woman was also in that car. She is looking at some felony ID theft charges and a misdemeanor charge as well. Reporting live, Craig Smith, KGON 9, on your side. Thank you, Craig.